Hello guys, welcome to another stream. Uh, this time I'm going to be doing another stream on Simon Family Farms. Before I've not done an episode on this map for a wee while. I think it's been three days or so, so yeah, about a time. So what I've done is I've leased John Deere Harvester, Forage Harvester 9900i and I've leased a class forage trailer, well, a trailer for the silage and that, so it's time to do some corn. Basically, if you guys been following the series, I've got some cows in previous episodes. I've got 18 cows and I've, all I've got is hay. So it's about time to get some silage done so we can get some TMR for our cows. So yeah, before we actually start on a harvest, what I was thinking to do is maybe move this cultivator and just place a nice silage bunker here in the corner. So yeah, let's just start with that. We jump in our case tractor, not this one. Oh well, I've actually left it on the field, so I'm gonna have to drive it back first. A bit savvy, not too bad. Yeah, so drive this bad boy back. Hi Taz, how is it going? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing some corn today. Well, I hope you don't get disappointed. <laughs> how, how much time you've got left. Hi Hayden, how is it going? Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, gonna be doing some silage today. Yeah, I completely forgot I've left that tractor on the field after I've done the contract, so I'm just gonna have to get rid of a trailer and then move the cultivator we've got because I want to place a silo bunker. And then another thing I want to show you guys is I've done some changes here, as you can probably see. Let's jump to it. Uh, basically, I had this decorational thing here so I got rid of that and I placed a BGA instead yeah I'm not too bad man I'm not too bad uh, quite tired to be honest but uh, I've not done an episode on Simon Family Farms for a while so I thought might as well just do a live stream so yeah I don't know if you've been on the actual map you have probably seen this big building which was pretty much doing nothing and this map's not got a BGA so I thought might as well just place one and then in this case we can sell some basically silage and all that, straw hay. I mean not straw but hay and that. And I think some of the root crops as well. Yeah. So we can sell potatoes and sugar beet for a decent price as well. Well hello hello Pleasant V Farms from Cornfields of Mercer County to cornfields of Simon Family Farms. Yeah, I was just saying, I've got a BGA. I, I got rid of that big building here, I put a BGA in, so we can sell some, some of a silage if we've got too much. But the main reason I want to do some silage is because I've got cows, and the only thing I'm currently feeding it is hay, so we're needing some TMR. And obviously, once we hard, well, the plan is do chop some of the corn for the silage and then harvest the remaining bit. And then obviously, I'm gonna get corn stalks from the remaining corn, so I'll probably be able to make TMR unless the corn stalks does not count as a straw for the TMR. So in that case, I'll be above a problem. But we can maybe do one of the contracts of. Like, we've got some oats, so maybe we can do a contract harvesting oat and then just pack up the straw. Nice one, Pleasant. Had a productive year, I think. Oh, what are you gonna do, Taz? You gonna stream?
or are you wanting me to do a multiplayer stream? If yes, I don't know who to play with. Well, actually, I had a guy asking me today if I'd like to join his multiplayer server to do some YouTube videos. Hi, Scott. Thanks for coming along. How are you doing, Scott? Well, you want to join the multiplayer, Hayden? Yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'll move this bad boy and I'm probably going to place a silo bunker in the corner. Spending all the money I've made in the contracts, doing the contracts. Right, I'll leave it here for now. Yeah, sure. I'll happily do some multiplayer. Uh, what I was thinking to do, actually, depending on how soon American Farming Life is going to come out, I'm thinking to maybe host my own multiplayer server for the people who want to join my Discord and that. And then, obviously, use the American Farming, American Life Farming map as my... Uh, for my multiplayer server, and then could make some videos on that. Would be a good idea, I think. Were well, you gonna put a video out of? Or are you doing the life? I mean, the real life video, sorry. Yeah, I love your international tractor. You know, after watching your videos, this is the reason I've got my. Oh, by the way, I got rid of that door, so I've got the storage space for the bales now. I've edited the in the Giants editor but yeah uh, where is the oh there it is the reason of this tractor is you Mr. Pleasant Valley Farms I've watched your videos and I really do like this tractor and I was like after watching your videos I was like I've got up in my series you know uh, hi Mark thanks for stopping by as always Right, so I'm gonna place a silo bunker in this corner. Uh, wrong button. Let's have a look what we've got. I've actually got quite a few silo bunkers. I'm thinking maybe this one because it's quite big. I just don't want it in destroying any of that field. That's my only concern. And I think we've got a wee bit of a hill here. Yeah, it's not too bad, so it shouldn't be any problem. Right, let's have a look. I quite like this, but uh, obviously is isn't going to go well with the map because that's a British bunker silo. This is a decent option. These are quite expensive. What else? I don't quite like Well, I do like them, but they're a bit too wide and too small, so... I mean, we could just put that here, but it's not going to look too good, is it? I do indeed, finally. I've got some regulars, uh, Mike Scott, I mean Mike, Mark, Scott, and I am Pleasant, Wall Pleasant View Farms. I don't know why I keep thinking of Pleasant Valley instead of Pleasant View. Uh, it's mixing up with a math, doesn't it? And yeah, Holden is normally here as well, so finally getting somewhere, getting some people instead of having to talk to myself. Right, where is it? There you go, I'll just go for this one, I think. And we'll lower it down a wee bit. Right, I knew that was going to happen, but... Yeah, that's not ideal, is it? Joy of farm sim placeable system. I've seen, uh, I can't remember who it was, but it was uh, one of the YouTubers that's like, smash that like button, like Chris, uh, like Chris Brown smashed Rihanna's face. <laughs> Obviously, 
Don't smash anyone's face, but do smash that like button, please. Yeah, I just find that quite funny, even though it isn't funny. Right, what I'm gonna do here, let's get this up. Right, that should solve the problem. Yeah, that'll do. Kinda. And probably just deal with the textures. Okay. Just make a wee bit more access to that. And then probably get rid of this bit as well. Don't quite want to have that concrete setting there. How is that holding? And good evening to you, sir. Yeah, sure, we can do that, Taz. Um, as soon as the map comes out, I'll probably just uh, just create a multiplayer server. And then we can work something out from there. Uh, it's 20 to 1 in UK. So me and Mark on the same timeline. And then Mr. Taz is 20 to 2, I guess. No, 20 to 3, isn't it? I'll deal with this a wee bit later. Okay, let's jump into the harvester. Yeah, so for some of you guys who missed, I have now have a biogas plant on the map. If you know there was like a big building here just sitting there doing nothing so I got rid of that and placed a nice BGA instead. So we can sell some of our silage but priority is feeding the cows. So obviously what I'm, gonna, what, what I'm planning of doing is getting rid of probably about half of this corn and then harvest the rest of it as a crop just because I'm going to be needing uh, corn stalks. I'm not quite sure if I can use the corn stalks for... Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to be having the same problem as I was having on Rusty Acres where the grass was getting in the way. Right, what I'll have to probably do is just leave a wee bit between the grass and the header. I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Nope. It's not working. It just stops. Not everyone is as lucky as yourself, Mr. Holden. Oh, it stopped again. Get rid of it. Pack up. Oh God's sake! What is happening? It literally just does a wee bit and then stops. And again, I've got a bad feeling where I might have to replace either the harvester or the header. And again, does anyone have any clue what's the reason for this? And again, right, as long as I'm not all right, I think I know what it is. What is happening is 
the harvester fills up. No, that's not what is happening. In that case, I haven't got a clue what's the problem. Yeah, that's not an option. God's sake. Shall I try a different harvester? Let's try a wee bit further away. It seems to be... No, it's not. I was just going to say it seems to be working, but it isn't. Okay, I might have to try different harvester, because I don't know why this is stopping. Hi Arctic, how is it going? Thanks for stopping by once again sir. Right, it seems to be working now. If it does decide to stop again I'm just gonna get a different one. Hi John, uh, how are you doing? Thanks for stopping by sir. Right, what I'll do is I'll leave us on the side for now. And I'm gonna get a different harvester because I don't know what's what's the problem with this. And I'll have to cheat some money in. Well, you've got another three and a half hours to sleep, Polly Count Taz. Until your shift is finished. Not everyone is as lucky as yourself. I'm going for a night shift and then just watching YouTube videos all night. Well, Arctic, this is becoming a new normal. Every time I'm streaming, I'm having some sort of problems. And I haven't got a clue what the problem is. So I think the harvest that I've got is this. Let's try leasing this, maybe. Let's get a longer pipe. The rest doesn't really bother me. I need a GPS. Right, so 19660, I'm going to have to cheat that in because I've already paid for the previous harvester. Yeah, I'm not too bad other than having the problems with harvester for some odd reason. It's not wanting to work. So yeah, let's see if this works. I'll probably use the same header. Uh, don't want to be spending money if I don't have to. I really hope I'll be able to hook that trailer on the back of this new forage harvester. Because on this you can modify the pin. See here. That's the only reason I'm able to tow the trailer. I stopped the engine. And see if this, this hasn't got that, so I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to use it. I think I might have the crown pack. Let's have a look at it. Trailers, where's the auger wagons? And yes, I do, crown cargo. So, if anything, we can maybe lease this and just hook up to any harvester. Yeah, possibly, Mark. But l l let's see what happens with this. Um, if that doesn't work, then I'm just going to try a different header. Yeah, I can't even hook that up. That's just great. Okay. In that case, let's leave this bad boy here and then try the old harvester. A different header.
Right, let's just try this. Well, the is. I'll move this to the side. It is modded header. I think it comes with a uh, John Deere pack. You know, the John Deere Pro pack. That's probably the reason. Right, let's put it here. And let's go for the New Holland one. Well, Kemper one. Well, actually, let's go for the end game one. Pretty much the same, so doesn't matter. Let's go for this. Another 6,000. I'll cheat that back in because I don't think it's fair me having to pay for it. I mean, if I've already paid for it, so. Maybe you have even more. I don't think it's the crop destruction. Uh, to be honest, I've, I've tried that on Lone Oak. I was doing Miscanthus and I think I've used the same head and the same combine and I was having the exact same problem. But. Oh, this isn't going to fit, is it? No, that's fine. Right. Uh, instead of trying to solve the problem, I just. I was like, nah, I'm not going to bother with Miscanthus. So. It might be the header. We'll find out in a minute. Let's see. It does actually look like it was the header, so I'll know what not to use in the future. Very happy days. Can crack on with our harvest. Yeah, I'm really wanting to get some TMR done as soon as I can and then crack on expanding with our cows because ideally I'd like to move to this farm as soon as I can here in the middle starting farm but obviously it's oh no it's not working well at least it lasts a wee bit longer if this isn't gonna work I'm just gonna go for the crone cargo with a crone big X and I'm I'm sure it will work because I have used that before and it didn't have any problems no, see that stops us all. God knows what the problem is, but at least it works a wee bit longer. No, it doesn't. Right, this is like super annoying. Okay, what I'll do now is. Yeah, pretty much hard tech. What I'll do is I'll go full on crown and that is gonna solve our problem, I hope. Just gonna have to tip what I've got. And then just gonna get crown cargo with crown big eggs and a crown header, which I currently have on the combine anyway. So let's drop this here. Don't worry, Jackson. And um, hello, I've not seen you for a while, so thanks for stopping by. I've I'm not too bad, just quite busy. Uh, my dog had a couple of puppies, gave birth to two puppies, I think it was three days ago. So I've been having some serious issues sleeping ever since because we've got them in the bedroom at the minute so as we, we obviously are scared of the puppies getting hurt or something like that so we've got them in the bedroom and we've not really had much sleep because we if, as soon as we hear something we just wake up to check on the pups but hopefully soon enough I'm gonna have gonna get some decent sleep. And this is not a 4x map, John. It's a standard size map, but unfortunately, it's PC only and it's on mod network. It's a nice map because it's a standard size, but it's got some decent sized fields. And you've got some smaller fields like this, like you've got five different fields 
you know, within a patch of land, but here like field seven is like 61 acre, almost 50 acres. Yeah, so it's quite good for a standard size map, like the, the size of the fields is great. <laughs> yeah, you're on the wrong series, sir, if you don't want to see any, like, you're on the wrong channel if you don't want to see any crashes, because I tend to not pay much attention to where I'm going. Sometimes, especially if I'm doing a live stream, I, I kind of focus on the chat a bit more than on the game, so I end up crashing a bit more than I should. Right, let's get rid of all these. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Right. Okay, so what I'll do now is for a cheddar, get the one I just got it off. Unless there's another crown. No. Right, so I'm getting this 6120. Get the shop deliveries here. Right, here it is. 6120 taking that back I'm only do I'm, I'm only cheating the money in because I've already paid for the previous machines so it's only fair right 2700 for this bad boy 2703 and the actual harvester now Right, so that's 27,000, Jesus. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, when you start paying attention to too many things, nothing goes right. Arctic. Yeah, I know. No, I got rid of a header by accident. I did have it, but... Hi Rusty, thanks for smashing it, as always, as every night. Thanks for stopping by once again, and there goes another crash to your count, Arctic. And another one right behind us. <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like I should probably pause the stream when I'm driving, and resume it when, I, when I'm done driving, because... Yeah, lucky it is in real life, because my farm wouldn't do so well. Well, that just says it all. E e even the game had enough of me. Like, even the game had enough of me. Can you believe us? <laughs> Look at the speed on the speedometer as well, like it's doing 300 miles per hour. Why do I have a feeling I'm about to crash? Like the game's about to crash. Oh well. <laughs> Welcome back to Outside the Boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that must have been Arctis, Arctic's doing. He was like, you know what, he's crashing his combine too much, so let me do something to him. Yeah, you, do, you, you just don't count it at all. Let's just ignore it. What about Savvy? Oh well, it's okay. Can't even see ourselves. Right, so how do we pretend that did not happen? And good afternoon, Mr. Disco Legend. How are you doing? Thanks for stopping by, sir. Okay, the problem now is how do I reset it? I don't even think I can actually select that now since... I've got a feeling you actually do. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to return a and return a I'd quite like you to return your voodoo doll to whoever you got it from because this is just not fair. Right, long pipe, GPS, Lisa, 27 and a bit. Let's hope it's not going into the air and outside the boundaries. So what was it? 27 and 200, let's say. And now we've got to get a cargo once again. You know what? If this isn't going to work, I might as well just do whatever the combine was just done. Okay. Thank you very much for hopefully working. What is the cargo? No words, Jackson. See you soon. Right, a quick prayer before we go. Okay, so far looking good, as long as it stays that way. Yeah, I've got a feeling where eventually when I come to buy my own harvester, I know what I'm going to be buying. No worries man, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all good, see you soon. Make sure you stay away from Fords. By the way, I found a decent Kenworth W900 for Nebraska series. Well, it's not really series. I've done one off stream, so if I ever go back to doing that, I'll probably use a Kenworth truck instead of having to deal with uh, Ford and its problems. Right, so that's looking good so far. It hasn't stopped once, which is always a good sign, as long as it doesn't go back flying again. Don't complain, young man. Sitting at work watching YouTube videos. What else do you want? Well, I'm sure Ford is better than Toyota. No offense to anyone driving Toyotas. See you later, Holden. Thanks again for stopping by. Right, so we've hardly done anything and we pretty much two trailers full so it looks like we're gonna get a decent amount of silage out of this. I've not got a clue, like honestly I haven't got a clue. I was just driving and decided to fly. Like, I've nearly hit the silo. But I didn't hit it. And I was just about to say, I was like, oh look, nearly got another crash count. And right before I say that, it just went into the air. Must have been either Jealous JD or Mr. Arctic. With his Weedle dolls. Okay, now another problem is, what crop do we destroy? Do we go through the corn? Or do we go through the sunflower? Or do I just attempt traversing? Right, let's fold that. 
Let's put the gears back in so it'll make it easier for me to reverse. Oh well, that's funny. <laughs> the trailer folded down but the chaff is still sticking out and I'm failing. Not paying attention again. Sorry, I'm a bit quiet. Just don't want to destroy half of my fields. Um, how about no thank you? <laughs> Especially with the way the mirrors are on the farm sim. Oh wow, that's a bit off. Yeah, the mirrors are a bit useless. Not again. Not again. Cannot be serious. Well, that should be our thumbnail for the next time. Yeah, this is not the first problem I've had on this map, to be honest, Mark. Let's see if you can see a shooting star called Crone Harvester. Nope. Right, to be honest, that is super disappointing and super annoying. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of it. And the next thing I'm going to do is, I don't know, I've not got a clue, Jackson, and it's really annoying me. Right, let's see, does that take, it does take silage, and that's 23,000, so I had a full trailer, which was 37,000 litres. What I'll do now is, I'm going to just cheat in some uh, chaff into this trailer and dump into our silage bunker. Yeah, he's probably going to see how... Um, who was it playing on... Oh man, what's the name of the map again? Sorry, my brain's running out of capacity today. That was in game. The harvester was in game. The head that was in game. The only thing that wasn't in game was the trailer. And the problem with running like other in game stuff is other than the tra I mean the harvester and the head that were in game. But uh, the chrome cargo is the only thing that I can hook up to the end of a forage harvester. And I have used that on other maps with a very same setup and I've never had a problem. Like this is why I was like, right, I'm going to go for that because I have tested it before. Like I've used it for hours, hours, hours and I've not had a problem. Silage, we don't want silage, chaff. Right, so what I'll do is... Oh, this is going to be another fail because I'll have to reverse that out. I'll dump this here. And then I'll fill half of it. Oh, this isn't going to end well as well because... Yeah, like as I say, I've used that so many times before and I've never had any problems with it. And this isn't the first problem I'm having on this map as well. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll unload this trailer load. And then I'm going to do another full trailer, but I'm only going to unload half of it. Because that's pretty much going to cover what we've had in the crown cargo. 
and then I'm probably gonna fast forward the time and just do a normal harvest instead because this isn't working at the moment so instead of wasting time I'm gonna do something else and then I'll try to work something out for the next episode so it does not happen again so we don't end up having flying combines what do you guys think should I just do that I should have probably taken that weight off as well. Well, I'm not blaming the map for my bad driving, but... It's just a bit disappointing, isn't it? Like... At first, the problems with John Deere. And then, Flying Crown. I don't know if that's the map, but as I said, I've 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 used the crown setup for hours. Like I used to play on FSN. I don't know if you guys know what FSN is, like that farm sim network. And the crown cargo is actually from the FSN mods, and they test every single mod before they actually put it on their system. And I've used that on the FSN for God knows how long. I've been harvesting massive fields on the county line with a cargo, and I never had a, excuse me, never had a single problem with it. So God knows what it is. But as I say, I'm not blaming anything. I'm not blaming the harvester. I'm not blaming the map. Chaff. Let's get rid of half of this. And then just move on with something else instead. Arctic, watch this. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I'm not even bothered about crashing or not anymore because that's how annoyed I am. I just want to, like, get what I harvested into this pit and then just god knows track on right i'd quite like to maybe put it on another side now yeah i was so looking forward to getting the corn done corn dot chopped sorry see i'm even struggling to talk now Yeah, I was really looking forward to chopping that corn, and I thought that'll keep us busy for the stream. But instead... Kept us entertained for the stream. That's for sure. Right, okay. And we empty you now. And please close your eyes for a minute, guys. Because this is going to be pulled out. Just like you do in the real life. Since I don't even want to attempt reversing this thing out. Okay. Let's see what's the compaction like. 6-6% so it's not too bad. Shouldn't take too long. And then once I get this done, I'll feed the cows and most likely fast forward the time to tomorrow so we can actually harvest it instead of chopping it. I don't know what Savitskas is. Is that the super strong man? Yeah, probably. By the way, me and Mr. Pollock and Taz, we from the same country. But funnily enough, I met him through FSG's Discord because I just saw him posting random pictures of the maps. And just looking at the pictures, I was like, oh, are you from Lithuania? And he's like, yep. Right, let's cover this bad boy. We've got 72,000 litres. 
not really what I was expecting to have, but a bit of a nothing, I guess. Okay, so leave you here for now. Get it about. Yeah, I'm really excited to be able to use this burn now uh, since I've got since I got rid of a door. Yes, I know him. I know him, Mister. Okay, so drop a couple of bales in. Fast forward the time to tomorrow. And then, what do you guys want me to do first? Sunflower or corn? See how much you've got. Could do with another bale. Let's just do the water at the same time. I've lived there for a wee while. Um, my missus is Scottish as well, so I've been in UK since well, since I was eighteen, and I'm thirty-three now, so fifteen years now. Lived in Ireland for a wee while, uh, north, very north of Republic of Ireland. Then moved down to Dublin, just outside Dublin. Then Birmingham, London, Luton, and now Edinburgh. Well, no one's forcing you to catch up, Jackson. It's up to you if you want to watch them or not, but I'll appreciate if you do. Okay, what I'll do for now, we can get another bill ready for tomorrow. What do you guys want to see first? Should I do corn or sunflower? All that leasing costs 124 grand for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not really got much else to do other than just fast forward the time, so. Alright, so we can't even harvest corn yet, and I don't think we're going to be able to harvest the sunflower today as well. Doesn't look like it anyway. Should we do a contract? Should I do a harvesting contract maybe? Do some oat so we get some straw as well. Let me guys know what you think I should do. Should we fast forward another day and do our own fields or should I maybe do an old harvest contract? Oh man, we eat a lot. I'm gonna run out of hay soon enough. Right, we can do our own sunflower. Well, our own field. Okay, so drop another bale in, grab combine, and jump into our sunflower field, and hopefully make some money. That's pretty your suggestion, Arctic. See, I'm gonna stay away from crashing now. <coughs> Excuse me. 
That's full. That's it. Well, the problem is I've done quite a few contracts recently. I've done some fertilizing contracts in this field and a plant contract, I think. And then I've done a couple of rusty acres as well. Crook, move you out of the way. Just making mess in the yard again. Had this harvester since today one. I haven't used it yet, so I'm quite excited to use it. I haven't used it at all actually. I'm really sorry guys, but I'm going to have to run to the toilet, so you'll have to give me a wee minute, yeah. I could do with a cigarette, but I'm not going to force you to wait for that long, so... Right, I'll be back in a minute. Hi, right, that's me back. Sorry about that. About 13 people watching it. I don't think I've ever had 13 people. Thank you very much, guys, for stopping by. Yeah, I'd quite like if I did. But, you know, after all is it... Well, I was going to say after all is it John Deere. I'm sure it will, but we've just been having problems with John Deere as well. So, yeah, but let's not jinx it for ourselves. Yeah, not quite what I planned for the episode, but I'm gonna have to do. We've, like, we've not really got an option now. Take it out. As long as it isn't ploughing or fertilising, I'm happy to do anything, to be honest, because I've done so much of those where I don't even want to think about it. I feel like that's the problem with starting Let's Play with Seasons, or just a save game in general, is that you've got to do so much ploughing, fertilising, lime spreading and that, but it kind of starts to... Well, I mean, it's okay if you're only doing one series at a time or one save game at a time, then, yeah, it's fine. You do what you got to do and then you just get on with other jobs. But if you're doing multiple series at once and then you've got to do, like, three times that amount, it's not ideal. And I can see that, holding man. I don't mind just talking. I appreciate it, to be honest. At least it saves you from having to watch it on the replay. <laughs> or watching it tomorrow, at least it gives you a chance to interact. Looks like a decent yield. Only gone up the field once and we've got like 25% of a harvester, so not too shabby. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm really happy to see so many people watching at once. Well, it's a funny one. I've graduated from university. Well, I didn't get to graduate actually because of what's been happening in the world recently. But I finished university last year. While I was at uni, I was just doing a bunch of random jobs, but mainly doing deliveries. Over the summer, I would do Amazon deliveries full time, and then while I'm back at uni, I would just do part time deliveries, like few deliveries and stuff. Uh, since I've graduated, I've been given a job offer related to my degree, but it got cancelled because of obviously the situation we've been dealing with. When I got another three job offers, which all been also cancelled too, just because of a situation. One, because the finance didn't get approved, so up until this point I've still been doing random jobs like deliveries and stuff. But finally, I'm starting new job on Monday, which is Security Operations Center Analyst like cyber security related so I'm starting that on Monday which I'm super excited for finally a year after finishing university I managed to get a decent job so and yes I agree sir at last something is working well, Taz, I never used to watch any streams until I actually discovered MRG. MRG got me into watching streams, and then, because MRG streams so late at night, I was actually watching them on replay, and ever since I just got into watching streams, and I prefer streams now over the videos, but majority of the streams I watch are usually on replay, because... Yeah, since I've been doing like food deliveries and stuff as an evening job, so I'd miss all the streams. But uh, yeah, I don't mind watching a stream on replay. What is your sister going for? And same thing in what way? And thanks, man. Yeah, everyone's excited. I should have probably changed the title to Flying Combines instead of Chopping the Corn. Would have had 130 viewers instead of 13. And see, this is what happens when I'm... When the chat gets busy, <laughs> I get off track. Well... As long as you're not breaking anything while multitasking, holding, then happy days. Because as far as you can see, I'm not really capable of multitasking. As soon as I look at the chat, I end up crashing combines. <laughs> well, I've got a degree in cybersecurity, and that's pretty much the job most of the people go for when they fi when they finish when they get the degree so to be fair I'm just happy to finally have a job in the field I've studied for I'll try it this got on a different map and then see what happens there yeah. but at the same time I've had so many plans to test different things but I just not had the time I just feel like Ar Arctic is trying to jinx it for us so something else goes wrong. He's probably got his voodoo doll in his hand saying please please make our combine fall apart but it's just not happening. I prefer not to use course play if I don't have to. I mean the map isn't big enough to like if I was playing on something huge like Flint Hills for instance or Nebraska and that then in that case yeah or like West Wild West maps time 16 maps and stuff in that case yeah but if you're playing on a standard standard size I prefer to do the stuff myself even if I'm just recording the video like a wee while ago I would pretty much do 
headlands and just set the rest on the worker. And then ever since I played on FSN, and FSN you're not allowed to have workers, so you even have to hire a contractor or do the work yourself. So because there was such a shortage of workers, I downsized my farm and just done all the work myself. And ever since I just pretty much never use workers. Like, it kind of made, made, made me like the game in a different way in comparison to what it was like before. Like before I would do a headland set on the work, I crack on with a different job, that's it. But ever since I've played on FSN, I just like found the joy in actually doing stuff myself, if that makes sense. Well, I hope your doll drowns in the toilet and never comes back. <sighs> Instead of a flying combine, nearly had a tipping tractor. <laughs> Last thing we need. See, as soon as you mention your doll, I nearly tipped the tractor. Looking forward to getting a nice, big tractor. I like uh, the 2020 John Deere 8R. Yeah, yeah it's like if, if you just get the workers to do everything, you just end up getting bored of it. You're like, what's the point, you know? So yeah, as I say, if I played on a big 4x map with massive square fields, or if I played on a 16 times map, in that case I would use a course play. See, I told you, you jinxed it for us. You have jinxed it for us. Yeah, and you can is necessary. That's what I was saying in the comment I've left in, your, in, in the one of your videos, like... I just looked at the size of a map, I really wanted to play on it, but I looked at the size of it and like how far everything is from each other, I was like, nah, it's too much. Just like FSG done a first look video on the West Texas, and he was like, he looked at the cow pasture thing, and he was like, oh my god, this is just daunting. I don't think I would ever want to do that in single player. So that's Yukon for me. I look at that map and I'm like, nope. Not a chance. I'm like literally even scared to look at it. Like, just the idea of the distances and everything. And as I say, I prefer to do stuff myself. So I wouldn't want to be sitting there for half an hour driving from one end of a, one, one end of a map to another. And then using auto drive and all that stuff, I'll just end up losing interest. So instead, I'd rather watch someone like Disco Legend playing on that map. He's doing a great job, so you should definitely check his videos out. Yeah, can't imagine. I right, see you later, Holden. Best of luck. Thanks again. See, I really like your videos, Disco, because, like, the way you do it is kind of different. It's like, it is almost as if you're doing a Let's Play mixed in with a tutorial in the same video. And I really like that. like you explain everything really well as far as I know this well there's probably a lot more than I know but the ones I know is like you can then Yogi Land or something or maybe Yogi Land isn't or Pleasant Valley uh, Wild West can't remember the names of the other ones but I know of like four or five maps and MRG is making one as well the hometown for him, I uh, can't remember what's the name as well, uh, Elkader, Iowa, he's making Elkader. The Wild West time 16 looks quite good, but then again, the distance is a daunting. Yeah, Western Australia, that's right.
No, West Texas isn't times 16, it's times 4. Yeah, Nover, Nover Kansas is times, five, times 16. West Texas is times 4. I've put probably like good two or three hundred, just under 300 hours on the West Texas map since I've seen FSG's first look. I've seen it, I was like, oh my god, I love it. So I didn't quite enjoy the prices on the map, so I've edited the prices myself. And then I put like 280 something hours on it. I really like to like you you don't really get maps like that. Especially with all the meat factories and stuff. It isn't like a proper productions map, if you know what I mean. Like some of the maps like will have every production out there, like including mining and everything, where West Texas is only like a couple of things added, which isn't too much, but it makes it interesting enough. I'd normally stream two to two and a half hours but i don't think i'm gonna last that long today just because i've got to be up really early tomorrow and it's half one now 25 to 2 in the morning so i'll probably do another 20 minutes or so maybe and just get myself to bed but normally i do around two and a half hours I'm really like I'm thinking once I hit 600 subscribers I'll probably do like a full day stream maybe do multiple maps and stuff do a wee bit of each series or just pick a random map and just do a random let's uh, random play like I've done with Nebraska just out of nowhere you know I've done the first look video on one of the Polish maps and I'm not gonna like I really liked it, like the amount of detail in that map is, is like the fields are super small and everything is tiny but I really liked the look of it so I'm thinking maybe someday I could do a stream on one of the Polish maps as well but god knows like as I say once I hit 600 subscribers I'm definitely gonna do like what am I talking about 600, 500, once I hit 500 subscribers I'm gonna do like a long stream where I'll do maybe like six or eight or ten hours, God knows how long I'm gonna last for. Yeah, that just proves I need some sleep. Like since we got the new puppies, we've hardly had any sleep. Mr. Mark's being quiet today, I see. Really liking this combine, not used it before, but it's pretty cool. I really like the look of like Big John the Arrow case combines with the doubles at the duels at the front. Well, it isn't too far, but the problem is, like, I think two weeks ago, within a week, I got, like, 40 subs. And then last week and a half, or last week maybe, I only got, like, one subscriber, or maybe, yeah, one subscriber in a week. So, God knows. I was looking at the analytics, and, like, 70% of the people who watch my videos are unsubscribed, so... You know, if all those 70% decide to subscribe, then it wouldn't take too long. But then if they don't, God knows. <clears throat> oh, nice one. As always, Mr. Lifesaver. If anyone ever needs any kind of help, it doesn't matter what kind of help it is, just ask Mark. If he doesn't know how to help you, I'm sure he's gonna get out of his way just to find out to work out and they're still gonna help you. Also, if you don't know, he's been, he's not really a human, he's been made by someone in a giant's editor. Thanks, dude. I'm like still getting used to like a lot to learn, to be honest. Um, 
the main issue I was having, well, other than going over my own embarrassment, like being scared and stuff, I've gone over that, but I've had a lot of problems with the quality of the video, so I eventually found the problem, what the problem was, so now the videos are getting a wee bit better, the quality is improving, so slowly, slowly, one step at a time, I'll get somewhere, as long as I don't give up on that. What stuff are you talking about, this guy? Um, modding and mapping and stuff. I wouldn't touch that. So, like, I've tried to do maps. I uh, watched some tutorials, but I was like, no, this is just not me. It's not too bad at the minute. It has uh, basically, as long as they're not walking and stuff, you're only like two and a half days old, well almost three days old so we're pretty much just in bed but since we've got them in our bedroom like we cry like pretty much half a night and then as soon as we start crying when our dog starts crying and then we wake up so uh, yeah it'll get worse before it gets better oh analytics yeah <clears throat> excuse me Yeah, for the VP9 you basically have to render it in 4K until you get your 1000 subs. I think once you get your 1000 subs you automatically get a VP9. And that was something I didn't know, so I was just like making videos trying to increase the bitrate but still doing it in 1080p. <clears throat> until... <clears throat> Jesus. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry guys. Yeah, until someone actually told me that you have to do in a 4k and hello mr scorpion welcome to another stream i'm just gonna ignore you dear mark i'll pretend i don't see ya and yeah no it'll have to happen sooner or later so this is a good practice for us, you know, puppies, looking after puppies is going to not quite but give us a wee bit of preparation for the kids. Get us used to not being able to sleep. Hello, Ronator, if I'm pronouncing it correct. It's absolutely up to you. If that's something you enjoy, then I don't see why not. But some things to keep in mind there is no biogas plant so if that doesn't bother you then why not another thing some of the doors on the map are not working as well and um, yeah i've been having a flying combine but i don't know if that's something to do with the map or the combine itself so i can't advise you there but other than that is a lovely map so yeah That's pretty much how it works, Taz. And then I'm gonna make you all cry just because you're gonna have enough of me moaning. He's probably got quite a few kids. This is why he's just helping everyone in the YouTube community so he doesn't have to deal with his kids. I think that's what's happening. <laughs> Is that true, Mr. Mark? Get rid of that. King in the way. See, he's not even replying. He's like, nah, I'm not having this conversation. About 14 people watching. I've not had 14 people once. Might not look as much for hours, but I do really appreciate that. Super excited. I'm gonna have to unload the trailer by the looks of it, because it is full and the combine's full as well. 
Well, what's worse, the 16 year old or a 2 year old? <laughs> the 16 year old probably dealing with. Well, it's that age, isn't it? So. Right, let's jump to a tractor, get that unloaded. It's probably going to have to use our international for the auger. Yeah, that's our first trailer of the harvest on the series. First crop. Well, I don't know if you've seen the flying combines. If you have seen them, then you haven't missed anything else. If you haven't seen the flying combines, I hope you don't have to see them because that was just disappointing. I am thinking I'm 33, so it's about a time, you know. I feel like it was a time probably a few years ago, but. There's a worse one, the 16 year old. Hi, Peanut. Thanks for stopping by again, man. 15 people, I can't believe that. I've never had 15 people on my stream. Thank you so much, guys. You know, I was like thinking I probably won't bother with the stream. Oh, I'm really happy I have actually bothered with it. Yeah, see, as soon as I'm back in the farm, I'm starting crashing again. Well, it wasn't my choice. Oh, good God. See, that's a sign I need some sleep now. Right, let's move this out of the way so I can actually reverse properly. And yeah, Rusty, that wasn't really my choice because God knows what was wrong with uh, either the combine or the map or the trailer. You know, I'll, do, I'll get rid of a front loader because it's just making it more difficult for me. I'm just concentrating on this nonsense and crashing as always because why not especially as long as Arctic is here might as well the more I crash the more he's gonna laugh at me You know how Clutch always says, best driver in farm sim. I think I steal the title from him this time. Hey Jason, how you doing man? Thanks for stopping by. Right, let's see what I've missed. I don't need a helicopter, thank you very much. I've got a crew combine if I have to fly somewhere. No worries, Peanut. Any, as long as you can stay, you can stay. I appreciate it. So, well, I know you've proven that, Mark, but I think you're forgetting that you've been made by someone in a giant's editor, so that doesn't really count. And I think I've. 
I think I've tried this setup before and it's not working, is it? I mean, I don't think you can unload from this gravity wagon into the auger. It's not gonna happen. Oh god, why is this happening to us tonight? And I should not even attempt traversing a dolly because I just can't do that. I wonder if I can unload it into the other one. If I can use this. Alright, let's try this setup. What I'm gonna do is I'll move this here. Try that. Now it's probably too close to the wall now for me to drive past. Let's try brown. And of course I'm not going to fit, <laughs> am I? Can we move this? Right, how do we move that? And down. Oh God. Well, that's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> All that concentration as well. Swear to God, it's not, it's not my day today. Sorry, guys. That is just not my day. Oh. I just cannot believe I'm failing so bad today. It has indeed, Jason. And it's still not working, is it? Nah. Not gonna happen, guys. Right, I feel like it's probably best if I just go to sleep instead of embarrassing myself in front of all of you.
I'm gonna have to park this. And just leave it here. Don't quite know what to do in regards of a trailer. Should I get a different trailer and refill it with uh, sunflowers? That's 24,000 liters. Trailers, let's see what we've got. I could possibly just take this trailer instead of the previous one. And then just cheat it in with sunflower. Me, I'm from Lithuania, but I live in Scotland. Lived in Scotland for a while now. Hey guys, what do you think I should do? Should I get a different trailer and just cheat the uh, sunflower in and get rid of our gravity wagon? This is probably the best option. Yeah, see, if that was just a video, it wouldn't be a problem. I could just edit it out, but it's not happening now, is it? Well, have a look, Scorpion, thank you. Thanks Scorpion, I'll check it out after the stream. Now, oh yeah, nice one. What about in Scotland, Jason? Right, well, do this, I'll get 38k. Since no one's giving me any advice on what to do with that, I'll do this. And do this. Okay, and we're gonna rid of this. We're gonna get rid of this bad boy and get rid of that money we get for it as well. Nine six one one. Nine, six, one, one. What do you use instead of trailers? Just use sea mice or, or nice one. I stay in Bonnerick, just outside, just outside Edinburgh. So. Cheat and some sunflower. Oh, that's the wrong thing I'm cheating in. Sunflower, that's it. So let's pretend none of that nonsense has happened. That's it, happy days. But that's not aligned now, so I'm gonna have to. Struggle of a V case again. Oh God. Nah, it didn't really insult me. Not that bothered. Right, I'll do, will it? Lower it down a wee bit. I mean, this is complicated, I swear to God. Way too complicated. Also, has anyone tested these silos? Do they work?
That's a good question as well. Because that should really work now. Right above it. Right, that is working. Happy days. At last, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> All good, Mr. Scorpion. But I feel like I honestly need some sleep now, so maybe unload this, do a wee bit more, maybe one more combine load and then I'm gonna have to call it a night guys because I'm honestly just embarrassing myself now oh good god for those who watched Line of Duty, mother of god See the time flying, Taz. Yeah, I'm quite chuffed with this new trailer now. Let's pretend to care for once and put the beacon on. Even though there's no any other traffic. Nah, not really. Uh, You've missed quite a bit of fun earlier, like flying combines and non-working headers and what did we not have, like a couple of streamers, I was having problems with the actual stream crashing, the game crashing, when the ch live chat not appearing and today just staying game stuff, mainly combines instead of crashing just flying they're like no I'm not liking this map I'm just gonna go out the boundaries I'll probably just go around once again and then call it a night guys cuz I'm honestly just falling asleep here and I've got to be up 8 o'clock in the morning so 6 hours sleep Probably be like five hours sleep by the time I get to bed. I cannot believe how many people I've got watching my stream tonight. Like I've never had 15 people in at once, so I'm like super excited. Right, let's get going. Now today I've only had a problem with the combines flying up and down and trying to escape the map. But oh, I'm missing so much. I think the previous stream I had problems with a chat for a wee like probably a minute or two minutes I worked it out after just refreshed it quickly and it was fine. But a stream before I couldn't get the live chat to work for about good probably ten minutes or so. The stream before that, the stream kept crashing, then the game was crashing, so every single stream I do, I'm just like having problems with it. Well, Mark, you should maybe consider about stopping help, st stopping giving all the help to different people and maybe helping your own body by giving it some sleep for once. I wonder if these are actually functional. Yeah. It's pretty cool to actually see all the screens working properly. I 
Hello Farminator, no worries sir, you don't have to be sorry and thanks for stopping by I wish it was 8 p.m. here It's almost, well it's not almost, it's just I had 2 o'clock in the morning, 5 past 2 almost So yeah, I'm just gonna probably go up Right, I'm gonna have to go into a third person view because I'm missing so much I'm not quite used to being in a first person view when it comes to combining so Yeah, it's quite nice to see the same people or I stay like same people every stream so I really appreciate you guys like getting used to it. Yesterday I was really tired and I wasn't gonna stream so I went on FSG's discord and I was like oh is anyone streaming tonight no one's replied and then I went for a cigarette and coming back in and I was like saying to my missus I was like you know what I'm not streaming tonight and I'm like it feels so weird like I just want to talk to the guys and then I wasn't really gonna do it today but I was like no it was too weird not to stream last night so I'm just gonna do it tonight even though like I've not had much time but still yeah I really appreciate you all guys yeah like it's you can't imagine how weird it feels like actually having all of you guys just sitting here and watching me play and it's just unreal like something I never thought it would have happened you know yeah that's true Rusty that is true as long as it doesn't rain <laughs> yeah I've got to go get some furniture tomorrow uh, I need a desk because obviously the new job I'm starting on Monday is working from home until September at least so yeah I've got to get a new desk and office chair and all that so got to get ready for Monday right let's maybe do another lap I'm gonna fill the harvester up and then call it a night Pick these bats up as well. Yeah, see, I was saying earlier, I've ne I'd never used to watch streams before, and then somehow I started watching MRG streams, and ever since I'm like, that's all I want to do, you know, just watch streams. Yeah, I don't know how come I, I never used to watch streams before. M most likely because I never used to like get to watch them live and. You know, if you don't ever watch the live stream and then you do on the replay, then you don't really see the point or fun in it. But once you actually start watching it, it's really cool. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate that. And thanks Jackson as well, yeah. I hope you do. What's that, Jason? Yeah, most certainly, Rusty, like, as I say, I was feeling so weird last night, because I've streamed for, like, what, three nights in a row, I think? And it just felt weird not to stream, and I'm like, oh my god, this is boring, I really want to, like, talk to someone and that, so... Oh yeah, Pharmacop's great. I've been watching Pharmacop for a while now. Hello, Marek. Not seen your name before. Unless I'm too sleepy and somehow managed to mess her. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> promotions are good, you know, if not for promotions, none of us would have gone anywhere. You know, the other day on FSG's stream, he's actually mentioned my name and I got six subscribers, so... Oh, you actually... Right guys, I'm gonna have to leave it here. I'm just gonna set that on load and call it a night. Because yeah, it's 10 past 2 in the morning. I'm not doing it for myself, I'm doing it for Mr. Mark, because he needs some sleep. <clears throat> right guys, thank you, thank you very much for stopping by. As I say, I've never had so many people in my live stream, so I'm super chuffed. And yeah, I shall see you probably tomorrow. I'll most likely do another stream tomorrow. I'm just getting into this habit. I feel like just streaming every night. You know, if I could, I would just do that every night. But uh, was a Wednesday tomorrow, so I think FSG is streaming. No, FSG, sorry. Uh, MRG streaming tomorrow. I'll, I'll have a look if anyone else is streaming tomorrow, and if not, I'll probably do another stream. If yes, I'll probably just upload a video. I've got a couple of videos sitting there as well, uh, waiting to be published, so... Right, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Scott, you got to do me a favor. Get an admin password from Argzy for the server, and as soon as you see Mark joining in, just kick him so he gets to sleep. See you later, guys. Thanks again. Bye. Have a good night. I'll see. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks again. Don't forget to leave us a like, and have a good night. Bye now.